have to ask you about Ukraine. So in uh, the spring, you described the war in Ukraine as a, quote, territorial dispute. You issued a statement saying it was a territorial dispute that was not central to America's national interest. It was an outcry over this. And then pretty soon after you described, you seem to change your view and describe Putin as a war criminal and say that it was central to America's foreign policy. Why did you change and where are you now? So the last part I did not say. Um, uh, I served in Iraq during the Iraq campaign in Fallujah. I was attached to U.S. Navy SEAL Team 1. And remember, it started on what WMD. Then we had Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Then it was created democracy. Then it was that. And so the lesson that I learned from there is if you're going to commit to do military, whether it's aid or whether it's troops, uh, you need to have a concrete idea of what you're trying to achieve. And so from the time I got out of the sandbox and landed back in the United States 15 years ago until the present, I've always felt that. And so my critique of the D.C. foreign policy elite is that they are doing a blank check policy without telling us when we will have achieved our objective. And I believe that today and I believe that then. Now, because you dissent from the D.C. foreign policy elite, they then try to smear you and say, oh, you must be for Putin. I've always thought Putin's a bad guy. I still think he's a bad guy. But that's a separate question for a leader who's got to look at the world in very clear eyed uh, glasses. You know that it's not all peaches and cream out there. And you have to make a judgment about what's in America's national interest. And so that's the position that I believe. And I also believe that I wish the D.C. elites cared as much about our border as they do about the Ukraine-Russia border.